Hey everyone, Shin Virtuality here, and we are back with more The Room 3. Um, not much to say. We were uh, um, getting our fortune told by the, the mystic, magnificent Maggie, whatever you want to call her. So we found our way into a new portion of the island, so let us venture forth and explore what is now in front of us. All right, and we're in this place. There's a sign there. Not exactly sure what we're at. Sort of like a blown. Maybe we're at a blacksmith or engineer's type. Oh, the water wheel. So yeah, maybe some sort of inventor's workshop. Whatever it is, the episode will be called... Um, <laughs> in the episode will be titled adequately. And uh, you know what? Maybe I'll just insert whatever this place is whenever I um reference it as in hey we are now in the forge and, and there you go uh, but we do see a note so let's hit it first because like all these rooms you got to start off with whatever pieces of literature that are strewn about waiting for us to read them here you arrive at the birthplace of my enterprise and your final lesson. So much time has passed since you came into my care and now here you are nearing graduation. But where was I? Oh yes, here is where I began crafting my masterworks and where you shall learn to do likewise. That which you seek is contained in the box on the table here. Accessing it will require the mastery of many tools, say a hammer or a screwdriver, but you get the gist. The first set of keys you will have to make yourself, but the final one is held ready for you. Don't disappoint me now, you simpleton. Sincerely, the crafts. All right, well, we are nearing, I guess, the final. Oh. I, apparently I picked this up. So I already see that this, we got kindling. I guess we don't keep the case. So I'm guessing the box is this one here. And it almost seems like uh, these codes on the side are for various keys. Um, the room games have had sort of keys that uh, turn into various shapes of what you need them to be in order to sort of progress. Uh, I, uh, this does not move. Okay, so, oh, am I mistooken? I maybe have to do both of them at the same time. Okay, yeah, we're, uh, we're probably far off from getting anywhere on this, this particular box. Or a flint. So we'll be lighting some fires apparently, which if we got kindling and flint. Part number 23C. And apparently I need to Put some pieces down so that may sort of correspond to uh, what we see on the box here because there are some shapes and such to investigate but 
let's uh, let's find something else. Do we need? I would have thought that would have been there, but nope. I guess not. I guess we'll check out here. Okay, so here's probably need to uh, port some molten molten steel into something here. Well, that's just a temperature gauge. That's just to make it hotter. We have to light the fire at some point. Uh, does the, yep, there's the kindling. Uh, Not quite yet. All right, there's probably some. Let's go over here. We do. Okay, so we have some mechanical arm and it's looking for some sort of mechanism to come in here. But we do have a code in case we need it. So is this we have a key. Aha. Uh -huh. So do we need to check out that sandbag? No. Oh, maybe we need to put it on this pressure plate. That sounds about right. Uh, let's not take into account that we need to sort of look around with the lens as well. Uh, okay, so uh, it's the only place that seems like a keyhole, but nope, it doesn't go in there. Hmm. Let's make sure that nothing is uh, is here. All right. Let's continue to investigate. Wool Forge. It's cold right now. It is not on fire like we need it to be. Okay, so you can turn these and this will correspond to the symbols that we have on the box. Uh, but we still can't light this. We got the we got the kindling in there. Ah, okay. Light her up. Okay. But we need, we need more. We need more before
Uh, we need a fourth piece to go in there just so that we have it. Right, because I'm going to guess that all these pieces are combinations of four. Uh, wait. Wait, wait. Nope, that didn't. Just want to make sure that none of these are movable on their own, and it doesn't seem like they are. Again, I think I need something for that side. Aha! I kind of thought something was amiss here. Uh, nope. Uh, so can we move you back? Can we move you back? Mm -hmm. That just resets it. Okay. Uh, so let's try this again. Let's move you over there. Let's move you over there. I don't know. If we do the same thing, it's just going to be like it was before. All right, let's reset. There's going to be a way to get this, I'm sure. Maybe you do both of these and then no cuz you won't you won't go and you won't go. Hey, yeah, yeah. Um, I think I got it finally. This has got to move over. Then this moves over. Oh. <laughs> there. That makes more sense. A metal casing. All right. Well, uh, I would think that the metal casing needs to go down here because it's part of this track. Uh, okay. <laughs> and that's all you do. Arg. All right. Well, fair enough.
I still can't seem to turn this, so does that have to do with this door, perhaps? Can I... See, I can't shift that gear up or down. He thinks that uh, something is needed here in order to manipulate this gear. But at least we're <laughs> somewhat on the right track. I can't move these by hand. Why not? All right, well, then. Nothing to be done there. All right. Okay, so if that was the triangle piece, it's telling us that the circle piece is here, yet it needs something. I have a feeling that something needs to get slotted in both of these so that when I turn the wheel, the other one is moving at the same time. And that sort of unlocks it. Uh, and then again, yeah, nothing there. There has to be a square one as well. Oh, sorry, a diamond one. Hmm. Okay, of course, there's something here. That doesn't look like it's meant for our key, but it is. All right, <laughs> I got a metal rod. All right, so what do we put on the brakes for the water? Is that what's going to turn the gears? The metal gears. Yep. Oh, looky, it's starting to do something. No, 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 we're backing because I have a feeling that All right, well, at least it's doing something now. And we got a metal rod. Uh, is that meant for our... Actually, let's pull that out. No, I didn't think it would be for that. <laughs> we don't need to melt it down. Uh, I didn't think we put it in that either. Is it meant for the door? Nope. <laughs> Could it be the tool I need for the box? 
smash it open? Probably not. Uh. Oh, <laughs> I am being dumb. I know what it's for. It's for this. There, now we have controls. And oh, hey, look at that. So let's lock that. And we'll go back here. Nope. And resets that. And now we can go down here. Would have made the locks more complicated now, could you? All right, through the door, onwards. Plenty of more stuff for us to gather here. Oy, oy, oy. Something is locking us here. Uh, okay. It's a thaw. Uh, and I have a feeling we don't need to do anything with that quite yet. <sighs> Might as well get this chess piece. And we can't get this piece quite yet, can we? Nope. Nope, can't even get into that corner there, so it's probably not needed for what we want to do here yet. This, however, um, <laughs> all right, okay, yeah, 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 back, back, please. Uh, so do we need to get some wood over it? There's no more pressure plates for us to open now, is there? Uh, hmm. Let's see what... Uh, <laughs> Just Peace has the next clue. So let's go over here. Uh, where are you going to go? Well, we have one. I guess we need that other. But how to get it? How to get it indeed. Uh... Now that's something will be sort of transported through there. Oh. Let's... Let's lift you up. Do you 
you have to go all the way over now. <laughs> it certainly seems like it. All right. Let's go over here. And boom. I got myself a metal bar. Ah. Uh, I see. I see how it is. All right, we're about to get to... Oh, well, actually, we can't really, can we? It's a gold bar. Or sorry, it's a metal bar. This is what we're going to have to melt down. Uh, but are we even ready for that yet? Are we even ready? Okay, that's locked in place and we can't get it until... Until something. Nope. Nope. <laughs> nope. Uh, actually... Any cryptic messages? There is not. So, let's head over to uh, what is the first place? I have to try and memorize these symbols. Uh, do, 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 do. You know, the one at the bottom seems like it's three piece, so we'll try that first. Uh, lines, square, and then sort of line with diamond. So line, square, line with diamond. Let's take a look here. Come on. Nope. Line, square, and I guess it was that piece. All right, fair enough. So you go back in there. Oh, no. <laughs> Doing this all wrong. Uh, come on. You come out. You go in there. Now you go back in. And we heat it up. <sighs> Something's happening. It's molten metal. Nope, 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 nope. And that will make the shape and ooh, hot steam in the face. That can't be good. But we got our first of three keys, I guess. So let's head down here. That's okay. It goes into the keyhole. Huh. Back and forth she goes. Uh, all right, well, let's try that way. Ah, uh, yep, things are coming together now. <laughs> so we go here, 
that piece goes on like that. Now we can move it down. And we can get a metal disc, apparently. Oh. Squeeze me. Oh, we got these magic squares. Uh, all right, yeah, I know, I know what needs to be done. Dun, 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 dun. At least this one won't be quite as hard as the one we had before. There we go. And the piece is in hand. Kerchunk. All right, so head down here. And now we can go to the next gear. Literally and figuratively. And that may make, may make some of the machinery in here start going. So we'll see if it does. No, not quite yet, actually. Oh, wait. We have something. Does it need a belt or something, I'm guessing? Since uh, this one's not in motion. Uh, what does this wheel give us? Ah, uh, <laughs> well, it's no longer a metal disc, it's a metal cog. So, yep, maybe down here. There we go. And it walks all the way over. Maybe it'll make this go, or at least get it closer. Uh, but I see what's on the ground. There's our belt that we were missing. So let me guess where this goes. Yeah. There. Take the piece, you dummy. And we remember from the last one where this goes. So let's go ahead and do that now. It's all a matter of just <laughs> figuring out the first parts and then the rest just sort of come together. So, chunk. So, I see that. Oh. Oh, 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 too far, too far, come on. Oh, is it like a perspective thing? No, not really. Maybe I can... uh... There we go. I made a little house. Dun dun. Oh, craftsman, you and your little boxes. Now, what do you want me to do? Okay. So you're. Producing light. Uh, 
I'm not sure which way you need to go. Uh, oh, I see, I see, I see. Okay, you need to go there. And then square goes on the other side. Right here. Like this, I believe. No? Is it... Oh, uh, because maybe it's mirrored. So let's try... Yep. Okay, so what do we do with you now? Oh, I turn you off. Click, click. Okay. But now we need another another piece. Uh, so let's go back down here because if this is just a switch, is there something now on this side? There is. And this is the hollow dirt block that we need. So we go back here, pop that into place, uh, and I don't even know what I need next. So uh, that would be the second in the middle portion. Uh, so tuning fork, pitch fork, and then two lines, two lines. Okay. Pitching fork, pitching fork. Oh, uh, come on. Let's get over here. Tuning fork, pitch fork, and two lines. So we take our key from the first one, put it in, and everything is like it was before. Heat it up. It's the T one thousand. And now we have our next key. So now you sort of sort of get what the theme is. Let's go back in here. Let's take our key into it. Click, click. Uh oh. All right, what do we got here? Uh, looks like we need to manipulate uh, the box into wherever these various holes are going. No problem. You know, the blue one goes there uh, right the yellow ones oh do I have to ah I have to insert them And one more. Uh, where, where are you, Teal? There you are. In you go. And we've gotten a gem. All right, so we have this red gem. Is it gonna tell us that it needs to go somewhere? I'm sure that it does. Uh, but we do, wait a minute, we do have, couldn't be that simple, could it? No. All right, yeah, this was, 
<laughs> Time has passed. Uh, could it go in here? Yes, it does. We get the coin slot. All right, so we need a uh, funky looking E triangle and two lines. So let's make ourselves the last key on the forge. Uh, funky looking E triangle. I'm not sure it was, yeah, two lines. So old key goes in there. We know what's up. And again, our liquid metal will be made into the shape that we need. And as much fun as I would love to play with the water, we have a task to do. And I've spent enough time at the beginning of this fooling around. Uh, all right, so there's our click. Oh, I broke it. Oh, sparkly stuff, which means I need to. Ah, I'm in with the eye. What do we do here? I ask myself unknowingly. Well, oh, I see. Okay, so. Hmm. That just does the outwards one. Uh, I need, so it looks like I need to get all the. I see. Okay, so this is the only one. Okay. Sure, all the all the lines have to sort of come together. Uh, so what do all right, so I need to go down to the other side. Because this is where the Ah, uh, okay, got it. They have the line down at the bottom. That's where the uh, thing is. Okay, this will work now. Nope, it won't. Uh, is there one that just does the outside ring? It does, thank you. There, I solved your little puzzle. Now what? Oh, well, <laughs> at least we get that. Okay, you know what this, I think this may be starting to become our sort of mechanism for that mechanical arm. Uh, let's slot this in here, because we know that's where it goes. Chunk, taking it to high gear. Uh, Taking it to high gear. And now we got that piece moving. Tell me that unlocks the door, the other door. Uh, okay, so about face. We're going to go into this new room now. So what do we have here? Oh, the handle broke off. No, I'm such a klutz. 
Can I get the handle? It's a broken piece of wood. I doubt this will be useful. I'll be the judge of that. Thank you. It's attached to the machine, but it broke off. Fine. I guess I can't use the broken handle. If I can't use the broken handle, what can I use? Oh, a piece of wood. Well, it's a good thing that uh, it's giving me the very thing that I need to make a new handle. So I guess we'll have to go off back into, into this room and fashion one. I bet you I have to cut it to size too. So, yep, there it is. Let's bring that up. No, nope, that's... You stay up. Oh. A small piece of wood. All right, and now that I have my small piece of wood, I bet it wants me to put it in here. Bring. Yeah, but how do you know I want a handle? Pretty smart for some 18th century um, woodworking automatic tools. Or are you just reading my mind? All right, well, a lathe piece of wood. Gee, I wonder what this is for. Let's go back into this room. Let's go back into the press. Let's take a look at this spot. And let's put that into there. So now will you let me... Um, yes, you will. Well, great. Now I have some plans. All right. Mechanical autonomy. Autonomy. Okay, well now what? Is there something else in this room that would maybe give me this this piece that I need? Uh, actually, let's... Nothing down on those nameplates. Those nameplates were looking fishy. Uh, let's take a look at this again. Oh, maybe it's got that sheen. Uh, I get it now. Okay. This is where it needs that code, which I had totally forgotten. Uh, so, over to here, and the code is, is, uh, triangle, the all-seeing eye, I guess, uh, square with a line in it, and then two Vs. Oh, come on. Stop being so slow. I'm going to forget it by this, at this rate. All right. Let's look down at it. Let's go Illuminati. Square's already there. And then that. <gasps> I got a camshaft for a mechanical hand. A mechanical hand camshaft. A cam hand shaft. Uh, a handy shaft of the mechanical cam kind. I don't know, but I know it goes here. All right. Uh, so what do we do now with it? Uh, do, 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 do.
Uh, I am manipulating hand. Taking it to, oh, almost. <gasps> it gave me the strange key, what I've always wanted. Hey, I saw that hand. All right. Uh, all right, well, let's see if this strange key can go into this strange place. Right, where does the key go? <laughs> oh. Are you going to tell me that it needs to... Dark. Oh, right, because, yeah, all right, so that's, is that, is that how we want it? I'm going to guess that this sort of tells us what we need to do. Okay, so it needs up. I'm guessing the key will go into this side and then that's where those four pins come into place so the four pins need to come through that looks accurate actually so can we kerchunk No, now the, uh, does the key go here? Yes. Oh, I see. Okay, so the key has all sorts of strangeness going on. Did I just arm a bomb? Oh, no, I armed a triangle. Oh. Ow! Well, that's that. Praise is due. You've mastered the sinister machinery of the forge with aplomb. Let the splinters in your fingertips be a reminder of how far you have come. Yet, how far will you go? We'll have to be seen in the next episode of The Room 3. Uh, yeah, this one took a little bit, and hopefully it won't be so uh, so long, because I did have to whittle down the front uh, the start of it a little bit. It was rather confusing to see where I needed to start things off, but hopefully you did enjoy what this uh, episode of The Room 3 had to offer as we explored the forge. Uh, so if you did enjoy the video, make sure you hit that like button, leave me a comment, and subscribe for more episodes of The Room 3. Uh, we should be getting pretty close to wrapping this up pretty soon. So uh, until then, I'm Shin Virtuality. Game on, have fun, and I'll catch you in the next one. Thanks for watching, everyone. Bye.